Geeks Tip Trick or Tool Tuesday, and this is the first one for 2022, so I am excited to share this one with you. I had the pastel pencils out today working on some techniques earlier, and I just wanted to share with you how to sharpen pastel pencils. Pastel pencils can be a little bit tricky. They look a lot like a colored pencil, but they are very, very different. Uh, they are essentially a hard pastel wrapped in a pencil uh, core, it wrapped in a pencil casing, and because of that, the center core is very delicate. So they don't tolerate being stuck in a pencil sharpener and twisted very well because that core will be put in a bind and it shatters all the way down. And then all you do is fight the pencil because chunks of it come out as you're working and you end up throwing half the pencil away because and wasting it because it has just broken. So, and pastel pencils are fairly expensive, especially if you buy them loose stock, so you don't wanna waste these. So the best way that I have found, and I've seen this done online quite a few times, is with a um, craft knife or a blade. So this is just a folding pocket knife that's got a sharp blade. Any type of flat blade knife like this, I've even used small like kitchen paring knives, they work too. But anything with a knife blade like this, exacto, whatever, will work. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take and start your blade back here, just back past where you ha it's been previously sharpened, and you're gonna use some downward pressure. I use hold it like this and put my thumb on it, and I just put a little downward pressure on it, and then lessen my pressure as I come towards that core, and just glide that down that core. And then I can just kind of shave that away um, it's like whittling almost, and you're just gonna shave it away from that core. So you just have to be very careful that you don't put too much pressure on it as you get towards the core because you will snap the tip of it off. So you can sharpen it back pretty good distance if you want. Sometimes I do, especially um, depending on what I'm using my pencils for, what project I'm using them for. Maybe I want a big flat edge to block in some areas so I might sharpen it back pretty far. So once I've worked my way all the way around the pencil and I've gotten that all cleaned off and all that core exposed, now I'm going to refine it just a little bit. And I'm just gonna take some sandpaper. This is 220 grit sandpaper. And I'm just going to take off, a, or I'm just gonna lay it down flat and I will move the camera here in just a second and show you how I put a nice sharp point on these so let's see if I can adjust the camera here and I'm just going to take just a little more here and I'm just going to take my pencil my pastel pencil and I'm going to roll this around as I rub it back and forth and just keep rotating that pencil to create to just sand off a nice fine edge and as you can see that's already starting to put a pretty nice rolled edge on that and the more I do that you can even go back and forth just a little bit it's gonna put a real nice sharp point on that and I, I've made these pretty darn sharp so you can um, lay your pencil a little more flat and get a longer sharper point if you like lay it more parallel down to your paper, your sandpaper. You get this real nice, smooth, sharp point. So I hope you can see that. I hope it comes into focus well enough. So that is how I sharpen pastel pencils. And I hope that was helpful. And we will see you guys next week. Thanks.